Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter books, and the mysterious group that preceded the Death Eaters. Now, we know the Death Eaters as the loyal servants and followers of the Dark Lord, Lord Voldemort. Becoming a Death Eater means that you bear the Dark Mark, a symbol that is representative of their group. The group even uses the Dark Mark as a way of inciting fear in the general population, projecting it into the sky Using the curse, Mor Mord, Arthur Weasley expresses his fear of this symbol in the Goblet of Fire. You know who and his followers sent the Dark Mark into the air whenever they killed. The terror it inspired. You have no idea. You're too young. Just picture coming home and finding the Dark Mark hovering over your house. And knowing what you're about to find inside. Everyone's worst fear. The very worst. In essence, the Death Eaters were a group of pure blood radical supremacists intent on cleansing the world of Muggleborns and Halfbloods, in the pursuit of a purer, wizarding community. But one thing that is worth mentioning is that the Death Eaters that we come to know in the books and films were not always operating in the way that we are familiar. In an old interview with Newsround from 2003, Rowling reveals a snippet of information about a group that preceded the Death Eaters. And these scraps of paper which you've filed elegantly in a carrier bag... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Their plot ideas or...? Well, some of them are totally redundant now because yeah. it's been written. Um, and I keep it out of sentimental, well, sentimentality's sake, I suppose. But some of it um, uh, has backstory in like this. This is... Um, in here is uh, the history of the Death Eaters. And I don't know that I'll ever actually... It's in the front. I'll ever actually need it. But at some point, which were once called something different, they were called the Knights of Walpurgis. Um, well, I, I don't know if I'll need it, but I like knowing it. So, you know, I like to keep that sort of stuff on hand. So, the Knights of Walpurgis, what's all that about? Who were they? When Tom Riddle was just a boy, he attended Hogwarts, just like everyone else, and he was sorted into Slytherin House. Riddle's cunning and manipulative nature eventually meant that he would form a gang of sorts, a group consisting of his fellow Slytherin students. The gang that Riddle formed was once described by Dumbledore as a mixture of the weak seeking protection, the ambitious seeking glory, and the thuggish seeking a leader who could show the more refined cruelty. And interestingly enough, it was the members of this gang that were considered to be the forerunners to what we know now as the Death Eaters. With that in mind, I think that we can fairly safely put a label on Riddle's gang. How about, oh, I don't know, the Knights of Walpurgis? So, the Knights of Walpurgis were fellow Slytherin students that were classmates of Tom Riddle. Sure, but how did they come up with a name like that? What is the significance of such a name? I was intrigued, so I did a bit of digging. From what I've been able to find, the closest thing relating to Walpurgis that makes sense is Walpurgisnat, or Walpurgis Night, which is a pagan holiday that falls on the eve of the Feast of Saint Walpurgis, a saint of the Roman Catholic Church. Put quite simply, Walpurgis Night was when, according to the belief of millions of people, the devil was abroad, when the graves were opened and the dead came forth and walked, and all evil things of earth and air and water held revel. Additionally, Walpurgis Night has always been associated with witchcraft, and witches for that matter. In German folklore, for example, on Walpurgis Night, witches from all over the land would gather for a great Sabbath on top of the Brocken, also known as the Blocksburg, the highest peak of the Harz mountain range. Expanding on the fact that Walpurgis Night was a night when witches and other evil entities were roaming freely around the land, it should also be worth noting that certain practices were developed to keep them at bay. For example, on Walpurgis Night in Germany, people would dress up in costumes and make loud noises. I found the whole history of Walpurgis Night very interesting, and just from looking into it very briefly, I can really understand where Rowling was coming from with regards to the name of Riddle's gang. The close associations with witches, witchcraft, the devil, and the dead seem fitting for a group that would eventually go on to become Death Eaters. I also found it interesting that German people would dress up in costumes to keep the evil entities at bay, as I think this may perhaps loosely allude to the attire that we end up seeing the Death Eaters wearing. What do you guys think? Is there anything else that we know about the Knights of Walpurgis that I've missed? Did you know about the history of Walpurgis already? Let us know down in the comment section below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.